one, Tim here from Algonaut. All right, so something I'm hearing a lot in Tech House and Techno these days is organic or even live cymbals being used as top layers to uh, drums. It can really make your drums sound a lot more interesting, more live, um, less robotic than, say, using straight drum machine samples and typical patterns. So today I'm going to show you how you can use rides, open hats, closed hats, and choke groups to gate the cymbals and hats kind of like a real drummer might and create a really funky top line to your drums. Also, this will be part one of three videos where I cover three things you heard at the start of this video, which includes the gated cymbals, uh, pitchy sub bass, the kind of thing you'd hear in um, Chris Lake's new tune, and a monotron delay patch that I've made a massive that sounds very much like this uh, little hardware unit. So keep an eye out on our channel for those. And just remember as well, all the drum samples, the loops, the MIDI clips, the patches as well that I make in this video, you can get for free in the description or from our website as a content pack. We do free content with all our videos, so make sure you check out our other videos on the channel as well. Let's get into it. All right, so what I've got here in front of me is an Ableton project with a few parts. It's basically got drums, um, the core drums, uh, these gated cymbals, a bass line, and this monotron patch. So today we're going to focus on these gated cymbals. So let's mute some of these other parts. We'll mute that, 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 and the original gated cymbals. We're going to make a new one. Um, so what we've got, what we're left with is just these core sound, these core drums here, which sounds like this. Pretty basic. That hat's probably could be changed. Let's change that. Yeah, it's a bit of hat, just like that. The power of Atlas. Okay, so let's make a new Atlas. We're going to make some gated symbols. So new MIDI track. I'm going to go over here, get Atlas. We'll go from scratch on this one. All right, so we've got a fresh instance of Atlas here. So let's go to maps and we're going to go Algo drum symbols. We've got a map here of a bunch of symbols that we've made. Um, rides, hats, clothes hats, that kind of thing. So let's find some samples and put them in the kit. Okay. That's all right. Close hat. Oh yeah, open hat. Here we go. Classic. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is settle these samples so they are choked by each other. So we'll open up the advanced panel. I'm going to set here a choke group to one. Put them all in the same group. Okay, so what this means is normally a ride, say, will sound like this. But if I play another sample while that's playing, it'll cut it off. Like that. You can do it with MIDI as well, so. Cuts it off. All right, cool. So let's make a pattern. Um... Close that. We'll go over here. Pattern. So I'm going to make this up as I go. Um, let's chuck in some. So there they are. Open hat. Maybe there's some closed hats in there. So I'll get one of them that cuts it off. So let's give this a listen. Kind of cool, but it's a bit dry. So let's get some effects. So I'm gonna steal this effects rack from the uh, the other layer, and we'll copy this over. I'm just gonna move this over. Well, actually, I use Alt and copy it over. All right, so I'll turn these all off and then turn them on one by one so you can hear what they're doing. So the dry hats sound like this. I wonder if you quickly chuck swing on that as well. About Twenty percent, cool. All right, so delay. Kind of add some cool ghost notes in the background. Um, let's get some reverb on there. So this is a short reverb with a lot of dry wet. All right, and then a compressor. It's really squashing it. Um, quite a low ratio, just two and a half, um, and quite a fast attack. And then heaps of threshold. And that's after the reverb and delay. So it's going to kind of squash the delay and reverb in with the in with the loop. That's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to create this interesting top line loop that's going to come in in the song in a certain section and add 
uh, more energy. Cool. Uh, EQ, cut at the lows and just kind of reducing the highs because they're a little bit bright. And that kind of leaves room as well for adding, like, say, a brighter kind of ride over the top of the drums as well, which I like doing. And lastly, a sidechain compressor, just to make sure it sits in with a kick. That's at the very end. That's all the effects. Mm. <laughs> a lot better with effects. So let's try recording this hi-hat loop, and then we'll randomize the samples. So I'll go like this. Uh, audio from uh, second atlas in send to sends only all right cool so there's my hi-hat loop probably needs to be normalized later and I'll, I'll do that for you as well when i give it to you so that's one hi-hat loop let's try and randomize those samples this is where atlas comes in real handy all right, so I'm going to hit new kit and it's going to populate the entire drum kit with new samples. I've just locked all the other ones as well, so it's not too distracting because it will fill those as well. So just these first three samples we're going to be replacing with ones of the same type. A close hat, open hat, and a right. All right. This is cool. So now what I'll do is I'll do uh, eight more. So there's 10 in total. And I'll mess around with the MIDI clip as well and make some more. And then we'll hear what the final results sound like. All right, so that's done. I've recorded 10 in the end, 10 different uh, cymbal top loops using choke groups. So let's just run through all those so you can hear them. And I'll give them all to you in a content pack. Right, cool some of those sound really good actually i'm a big fan of those and that was really easy to make using atlas it's just a matter of mixing up the uh, midi clip and then just hitting new kit and you get brand new samples and almost an entirely new loop so yeah i hope you learned something from that it's an interesting little trick that i sometimes use in my songs um basically it's just about setting i reckon three three different symbols uh closed open hat and a ride and um put them all in the same choke group and then just do some random little midi clip and um you get something really creative, chuck a bunch of effects on that, squash it with a compressor, and you have a really cool top loop that's a bit different to say used to your classic sidechain ride or 16th thumb closed hat or tambourine or something like that. Now, obviously there's a bass line in this one as well, so make sure you stick around and watch the next video where I then talk about how to make that pitchy um, bass line, which is very similar to the track, um, the new track by Chris Lake called Stay With Me. Um, it's a pretty cool vibe. It's actually pretty easy to make, so you'll probably enjoy that. So remember that you can get all this content that I've made in this video from a content pack um, through the description on our website. It's all royalty free. You can do whatever you want with it. So make sure you check out our other videos as well because there's heaps of content that we're chucking up every week and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, that's it from me. So I'll catch you next time.